Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find LCM and HCF. So let's start with finding the LCM of numbers. So least common multiple of the two numbers is the smallest number which is the multiple of both the numbers. So let us start by finding the LCM or the least common multiple of 12, 16 and 18. For finding the LCM, we will be using the prime factorization method. In this method, we divide these numbers by the prime numbers and find their common factors. So here we are going to make the ladder like this and we'll write the three numbers on the ladder. 12, 16 and 18 and we'll divide these numbers by prime numbers. So as all these three numbers are even numbers, our first common factor for the three numbers will be 2 because 2 is the common factor of all the even numbers. So we'll divide all the three numbers by 2. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 8 is 16 and 2 times 9 is 18. Next we have two even numbers so we can again divide by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 4 is 8. And 9 is not fully divisible by 2, so we'll write it as is. We are not going to divide 9, we are going to write it as is. Next, we'll divide 4 by number 2. So 3 is not divisible, it is a prime number, so we are going to write it as is. Next, we have 4. 2 divided by 2 is 4, so we are going to write 2 here. And 9 is not fully divisible by 2, so we are going to write it as is. Next, we can divide 2 by 2, so we are going to write 3 as is, 2 times 1 is 2 and 9 is not fully divisible by 2, so we are going to write it as is. We keep on dividing the numbers until the quotient for all the numbers is 1. This number 16 is fully divided, so its quotient is 1. Next, we need to divide 3 and 9 and as 3 is a prime number, it is only divisible by number 3, so 3 times 1 is 3. Here we already have 1 and 3 times 3 is 9. Next 3 is a prime number. It is only divisible by number 3. So this is 1, this is 1 and 3 times 1 is 3. Now all the numbers are fully divided. For so finding the LCM, we are going to take the product of all the numbers which are on the left hand side of the ladder. So LCM will be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 3 is 48 and 48 times 3 is 144. So the LCM of 12, 16 and 18 is 144. Next we will find the HCF of the 3 numbers. So here we are going to write the highest common factor. Highest common factor or the HCF is also known as the GCF or the greatest common factor. So highest common factor or the HCF of the three numbers is such a number which divides all the three numbers without leaving a remainder. So let us find the HCF of 12, 16 and 18. For finding the HCF of the three numbers, we are going to first find the factors of all the numbers separately. So first we will find the factors of 12 using the prime factorization method. So 2 times 6 is 12. 6 is divisible by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 is a prime number so it is only divisible by number 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. So we got the factors of 2 on the left hand side of the ladder. Next, we will find the factors of 16. So, 2 times 8 is 16. Again, we can divide by 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 2. So, 16 is also fully divided. Next, we will divide number 18. 18 is an even number, so it is divisible by number 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 9 is not divisible by number 2, so we will try the next prime number which is 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3. 
So now we have got the factors of all the three numbers. 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 1. 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1. And 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 1. For finding the HCF, we need to take the product of all the common factors in between the three numbers. So here we see that 2 is common to all the three numbers. Again, there is number 2 here. There is 2 here, but no 3 here. 3 is here in 12 and 18. And 16, and there is no 3 in 16. So we have only one common factor, which is number 2. So the HCF of the three numbers 12, 16 and 18 is number 2. So this is how we find the LCM least common multiple and HCF which is the highest common factor of the numbers. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.